The Amazon Alexa AI lab hasn't been sleeping. Here's a very quick overview of their latest model, Alexa TM20B. It's completely open to the public. Alexa TM stands for Alexa Teacher Model. This doesn't mean this is built into Amazon Alexa just yet. It means that the Alexa AI Research Lab is finally coming out. They've done a few things over the last 24 months, but this one's pretty big. The 20 billion parameter model compares favorably with a lot of other models that are out there. Let's take a closer look. If we're gonna train this model ourselves, it's actually possible. Alexa has made this available for inference, but let's give some idea of how much it would cost to train on their instances. So let's use the Amazon EC2 P4 instances, which allow us to use their NVIDIA A100 GPUs. The cost of the P4D 24X large instance is about $32 an hour for on-demand. We get a bit of a discount on that if we used reserved instances, but let's multiply this out. So we're training Alexa TM20B using 16 AWS P4D 24X large compute instances. That's eight GPUs each for 128 NVIDIA A100 GPUs. $32 an hour for on-demand, so we'd be paying $524 an hour for 128 of those GPUs. They trained it for 2,880 hours, that's 120 days. It would cost $1.5 million to train. Alexa TM20B compares favorably with models like Aleutha AI's GPT Neo X20B, which they didn't use in their paper for comparison. They did compare it with the very recent Bloom model, the Palm model. It outperforms GPT-3 in some cases, and Google Research's UL20B model. Alexa TM20B is very good at summarizing text. Here's an example from their blog post where it summarizes details about the Spurs, a long article, right down to a single sentence. All right, let's complete the report card. This is for Amazon Alexa TM20B for August in 2022. You'll notice they have an amazing parameter count, 20B, because it's so efficient. They're using 1.3 trillion tokens, according to the paper. The paper's a little bit confusing, but they reckon they're using quite a few multilingual Wikipedia tokens and then multilingual C4 dataset tokens, which is World Wide Web tokens. So they've actually gone beyond the requirements of Chinchilla here. They've used more tokens than even the Chinchilla scaling recommends. Fantastic. First, the model size. At 20 billion parameters, I'm going to give this a C. Alexa TM20B is at or below standard for prototype models in mid-2022. However, the model size is in line with Chinchilla scaling, so this might be the equivalent of, for example, something like 80 billion, 100 billion parameters. But let's talk in what's happening right now. This is a 20 billion parameter model. Optimization, Alexa TM20B seems to follow and even outdo chinchilla scaling laws using a trillion tokens for 20 billion parameters, but it's a sequence to sequence model and that is not directly comparable with decoder only models. I'm gonna give the optimization an A anyway because they've outdone themselves with using so many tokens for such a small model. The data set, I've said the paper is slightly opaque in its data set, but it mentions Wikipedia at 119 billion tokens and multilingual C4, MC4, at 1.2 trillion tokens. So I'd give that one a C. I didn't notice any special technical features in there, so we'll leave that one out for now. The model achieved state of the art on selected multilingual tasks. They've got Soda on one shot summarization, so they're outperforming Palm 540B and one-shot machine translation. I'd give this a C plus. It's doing quite well against other models, especially for its size. For IQ, it does outperform GPT-3 zero shot on Superglue, but that's not really that good. You've got Superglue uh, leaderboards that are 
getting much, much higher than Alexa TM. It's only getting about 69.16. So it would be ranked maybe number 24 on the current leaderboard as of August 2022. I'm going to give that a D. Truthfulness, there was not enough information in the paper for us to even assess this one. And openness, Amazon and Alexa have confirmed that they'll release the model on a non-commercial basis and you can even put it on your own GPUs on the AWS EC2 instances, but it is non-commercial. So I'm being a little bit generous here, giving it an A. Overall score for this one, I would give a C. That's it for today, Alexa. TM20B just released a few hours ago. I wanted to get this to you as soon as I could. I won't give you the full memo closing today. I want to mention personally, you need to be part of this mailing list. It is for you. It is for the general public. It's for readers that want AI that matters as it happens in plain English. Yes, we've got academics in there. Yes, we've got enterprise in there. We've got uh, Microsoft, Tesla, IBM. Google, all these guys reading it at the same time, but you don't need to have any technical background. I provide plain English of what's going on and also a lot of free stuff, access to demos and stuff to play with. I'll see you there, lifearchitect.ai slash memo.